Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's night, so it's dark outside. And today I will explain to you the main reason why it's a good idea if you have a Mavic 2 Pro uh, or a Mavic 2 Zoom for that matter, or Mavic 2 Enterprise, <laughs> uh, why it's a good idea to always have at least one self-heating battery. Here's my kit. I have my Mavic 2 Pro. And yep, my battery already partly self-discharged. This probably did the same. And this probably, oh, the self-heating one is fully charged. So here's the reason, and I'll show you these. I think these are set at like to discharge in one day and I was unable to fly because it was basically raining all week. I'm gonna fly on this one today. Uh, the reason is, let's say on a day like today you go outside you take your bag with you you take your mavic 2 pro you take your three batteries and you want to fly all three right now it's right around freezing temps uh, the first battery is going to be fine because the battery came from the inside it's warm you can fly with it the optimal uh temp range for the battery is like above 25 degrees in my experience so 25 degrees or higher i think it's like 75 or 80 degrees fahrenheit not sure you can check that but 25 degrees centigrade it's fine so you fly for 30 minutes 25 minutes in that time your other batteries are cooling because you're outside so you pop the second battery in it dropped a little bit in temperature but it's gonna uh come back and temp as you fly the drone so odds are you're probably going to be fine as well by the time you get to the third battery so that's why it's always a good idea to have one self-heating battery by the time you get to the third battery your battery is going to be close to freezing temp because it's going to be close to the ambient temperature outside so before you get done flying your drone on a self-heating battery it will be a good idea to I think it's well right now it's not gonna self heat but you hold down the button for five seconds and it begins to heat up and it just needs a couple minutes it will bring the battery temp up to the level and then you can pop it in the biggest counter argument i've ever heard was well you can keep it in your pockets you can keep it you're not gonna keep that let's be honest you have two armpits yeah you don't want to stink up your battery you're not gonna keep it in your ass crack your coat pockets get cold as well it's ridiculous it's much easier just to get a self-heating battery for the mavic 2 pro much easier uh, i'm not even going to start telling you how many shoots i had ruined so let's fly right now with a self-heating bed but uh, <laughs> i think it's good temp right now and it's flight number one and i just want to see how good it flies with that bed i'm not gonna fly far uh, maybe Take some pictures of the neighbors they're building a hotel next door and that's it okay i am airborne now actually got airborne really quick so there are my neighbors right there i'm gonna get a little higher i want to be at about 70 meters because i have really tall trees and i'm sort of in a hole and the battery is 95 percent really good it says i got 25 minutes let's take a picture right here and i want to see how it's gonna look yeah horrible too much noise too much everything let's go into the settings and this is how like how you play around with the settings i don't like that much noise that's way too much noise i'm gonna do one second timing i don't way and see that's half so here's one second let's do the same picture with one second exposure And yeah, I hope Mavic Pro is not gonna fail. Mavic 2 Pro. Well, this is much better. So let's change positions. And you have to be really careful when you're flying at night 
because like I know the uh, area well so I know that if I'm at 70 meters even though I'm in a, not in a hole I'm not gonna hit any trees so let's do this hotel with the city backdrop one second exposure and I hope this picture comes out well okay but again, I do like the Evo much better. What, it hasn't downloaded yet? What, I can't... This is stupid. It's like I have no connection to my drone. Go a little higher. I can do a hundred meters easy here in this area. So still one second exposure with the city backdrop. And this is why I like the Mavic Pro series. Mavic 1, Mavic 2, haven't had Mavic 3 yet, is because you can easily fly a long distance and not have to worry about oh, see i don't like this part this downloaded instantly this doesn't want to download it could be the distance so go a little higher use the rule of one thirds and one second exposure see the problem is again i don't see how good the picture comes out more or less i see oh there we go that's actually not bad still a lot of noise but you always want to download it oh that's why it's a large size picture because even at ha half a kilobit a second see how long it's taking to download and it's not raw format either. This is a JPEG. I think it's because of all the noise. And even though I'm looking at files right now, yeah, beautiful picture, beautiful backdrop. So now I'm gonna go shoot the city some. So here we have, let's do 120 meters. Luckily here I can easily see the 120 meters, but still, I like shooting the city. Okay, one second exposure. Let's try to focus. This is not my Mavic 2 zoom, so it doesn't have the, uh, the zoom option. And while it's doing that picture, I'm gonna download this file. But again, the long flight time allows me to do all this. So I can download the file. I can look at all of the detail. There we go. It's a fog, so foggy. But you want to download it because right now it's just, what? Okay, what happened? Oh, this is nice. City in the fog. And you're gonna love the detail. Uh, again, I'm not maxing out on my ISO, but you see the fog over the forest? That's great. So right now we're gonna fly over here. And I wanna take the picture of this. It's my house right here with the city backdrop. Again, I really love, uh, here's the drone. So I really love the option of being able to do all this in the winter. So, okay, here we go. 
city backdrop. I'm gonna do two pictures. I'm gonna do a picture right now with the 3200 ISO. Uh, I'm gonna focus there. Oh, when my dogs came back. Yeah, sure. My dogs ran away earlier today, so <laughs> look at that. And it's, see, it's not noise, it's fog, which I love this part. It's actually foggy. So, uh, let's see. I'll take a picture of this complex with the river, the fog and everything else. Again, one second exposure time. It's good. I wonder if I do temperature a little warmer. So we go into this. Okay. White balance and go custom. And let's do 7,000. So I think 7,000 is good. And let's do a little warmer temperature, same picture. And the whole time you need to keep an eye on your battery because you may have to like come back with your drone. So let me show you two pictures, just different temperatures. And you'll see the difference. What? I hate it when it says that. Okay. So, picture number one. Oh, this did not come out at all. That sucks. And picture number two. So, I think my exposure is a bit too much. And I am gonna do the uh, half second exposure. Or, what you can do is you can uh, lower the ISO. So, right now my ISO is 1600. I'm gonna do it 800 and do the same picture. So do that and look the difference at the picture. Of course you need to download it. And look how beautiful the city is. And now what I can do is I can turn the drone a bit. It's not that far away from me, honestly. And see, this is very dark in there, but still it can try. Okay, let's see how it came out. Okay, this may need a higher exposure time, although the ISO is good. It doesn't like to download until it's ready. So temperature is good, everything else is good. Beautiful images, which I think if it's, uh, I forgot how to use this thing, it's crazy. Okay, so see here it's showing me that, well, in order to bring in some, I have to do 6400 ISO. So let's see if it makes a difference. Uh, and again, 55% battery. I'm actually probably going to have to bring it in soon. So let's look at this photo. Oh, much, much better. Although I don't like my pictures to be too bright. Mm, I think this is too much noise and too much everything else. So what we can do here is, again, playing with the settings. Do 1600 ISO, aperture fully open, so 2.8 aperture, and do two second exposure. And actually, it may look much better, less noise. Don't forget that the drone is vibrating as it's taking a picture. So, right now, we're going to compare the two pictures together. 
failed again, so let's download. Okay, this looks much better. Gotta love that one inch sensor. So a lot of noise, denoised, beautiful picture. So right now I'm gonna take a picture of the house. I'm gonna reposition the drone. Oh wow, very bright city indeed. I want to reposition the drone. For need that, I need a map. Because see, like, if you see right now, I'm flying into darkness. I don't know where I'm flying. So that's why you need the map at night flights. It's complete dark. So, I reposition the drone. There we go. Okay, and take a picture. And now I'm gonna bring the, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I just ruined one picture. Okay, so <laughs> I position the drone, take a picture wait two seconds and once the picture is done then you lower the drone another reason why i want to lower the drone is because i hear an airplane although i'm sure it's at very high altitude but still no reason so let's do a little bit to the side and back this should be a beautiful picture But I want to. Fo I want my focus to be on the house. So drone is still. Press the shutter button. In a moment, we're gonna check out the pictures we got. Okay, house is blurry. Everything is blurry. I don't like it. So let's try again. Remember, the drone cannot keep be moving while you're doing this. Okay, much better. So now I'm going to bring in the drone closer because my battery is running out. here and you see this thing right here that's uh, our famous monument so again house in the focus let's try and see how that comes out sometimes you need to take multiple shots download it Try it again. I'm at 38%. Still have time. Yeah, very blurry. That's not what I want. So I go back, focus on the house again, take the picture again. And hope it came out sharper because the drone is not flying. I don't know why it's telling me insufficient local storage. Oh, it's not coming out sharp, sharp at all. Okay, we need to make a uh, faster exposure time. While my dog eats, here is exactly what I wanted to show you. I just put in a fresh uh, battery. Well, not a fresh battery, but my other battery. 
and as you can see the charge is 59 percent the voltage is 15.4 volts now the temperature is 11 degrees celsius now watch what happens when i start the drone and i take off watch the voltage plummet because it's a cold battery that's how you don't want to fly you always you want your battery to be at its optimal temperature you want your battery to be charged and you want to, your battery to be warm so as soon as i started the drone here it's just crazy how fast it plummets 14 volts so 14.2 volts and then as soon as i take off and start flying watch it go from yellow to red it goes almost instantly and it's very very interesting well, one cell goes to red second cell goes to red and then third and fourth follow the temperature is not rising quick enough because the battery is cold the battery was outside for 20 minutes while i was flying on the first one so you can you're witnessing it live basically uh, i did not expect it i did not expect it that bad but as soon as i landed the drone the temperature went back so it's kind of like that's exactly what happens uh, luckily as i set out to show you why you need a self-heating battery i actually accidentally proved why you need a self-heating battery because uh, the, my first flight was with my self-heating battery and it was warm from indoors so i didn't have to heat it and i flew for about 20 minutes then i set it down and uh, put in one of the other batteries which were outside right next to me they weren't in my pocket or in my armpit or in my crotch uh, as soon as i put it in you saw it i mean you saw it with your own, uh, your own eyes how the charge just dropped it was in the green then suddenly in the yellow and then in the uh, red because all because the battery temperature when the battery was put in the drone was about 10 11 degrees which is not an optimal flying temperature like i said it has to be like 25 maybe 30 degrees so yeah there you have it that's why you need a self-heating battery if you're gonna fly with three batteries or more during the cold time